two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the chat. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> That's like right out the gate. Leave it in. Leave first it in. Of a fucking, <laughs> leave it in. First ever entry into the fucking series. And we get a squeak. <laughs> Oh, well, that's. Oh. Penny said hello. That, 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 that's a good old nemesis, you know. He, <laughs> he likes his rubber ducks. Good old Dead so. to Bell and fucking. <laughs> dead to Nut. <laughs> fucking Dead to like <laughs> So, just before I start this video, I'd like to say this video is brought to you by Nemesis Mum. She's a hot smoking woman that loves to be banged. Okay, now that's out there. So, the main uh, topic I'd like to talk to my friends. So, my friends are, please introduce yourselves, please. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, LMA187. Oh, yeah. Haven't made a video in like a month, two months. <laughs> uh, I guess two names I go by Nemesis 3561. Dead to Sites. Dead to Nam. Yeah. Dead to Bellend. Yep. Dead, dead to your mums. Yeah. <clears throat> so, this is going to be a show where me me and these two the critters, these guys, these, these, these fine specimens oh. of YouTube and gods, will be uh, doing um, talk shows type thing but um things i want to try and stay away from the whole podcast thing i think that's a saturated market by far so i want to try and stay away from there these these uh talky talky things aren't going to be too long like i'm going to make the 30 minute mark if it goes over it goes <laughs> over. Excuse but, me. but 30 minute mark that's that's the maximum i'd say like like Give or take five minutes. See so if Nemesis can't shut up on a 30 minute mark. That doesn't matter. We'll keep it going. Five minute sport things. If he starts taking a piss, then, we're, then I'm just going to cut him off and say the show's over, folks. Anyway. You cut off. So, <clears throat> I'll cut your fucking mum's tits off. Um, so, this week in the news, guys, there's been hundreds and thousands of different rumours talking about uh, next-gen consoles saying the PlayStation 3 has dropped its DualShock as, as Sony said it's dropped the DualShock now in favour of all these heat sensors on the controller so it'll be able to sense your heart rate uh, they said that the PlayStation 4 is going to be more powerful than the free, uh, 720 the Xbox 720 the Xbox 720 is going to be more casual like the Nintendo Wii I just want to hear your two thoughts on the uh, next-gen console so obviously talk about the Wii U like, we always forget about the Wii U, since it slips in quietly, like I did for Nemesis Mum. What she said. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I want to hear your thoughts on it, really, guys. <clears throat> Go well, uh, the PS4, they keep they keep talking about they're going to get rid of the um, the DualShock controller, right? Yeah. They keep talking about how they're going to get rid of that and replace it with either a tablet or something crazy. Uh, if they do that, then, um, you know, we'll see if it works, but... I just hope Sony doesn't once again follow in Nintendo's footsteps. You know how, like, Nintendo does something and then Sony wants to follow? At least that's what it seems like, you know? Like, let's not forget uh, the analog Nintendo came out with and they had to do that. And then uh, the main one was was the, uh, what's it called? The the Move, right? Oh, yeah. The Move? The, 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 the Move was straight... You mean the PS deal, though? That's what that was. <laughs> yeah. The Move was just a straight-up uh, replica of the, the Wiimote, you know, and the Nunchuck song. Yeah. Like a freaking one from Harry Potter. <laughs> They're actually bringing out a new version up for the PlayStation 4. So, so basically, yeah, not only will you have the balls on top of your <laughs> controller, <I> press. <laughs> uh, <laughs> basically, there's going to be two balls attached to your feet as well, so you can move your feet. Now, that I think oh, is just it's ridiculous. It's so like, imagine if one of your friends come around and you've got balls on your feet and then fucking hands. So, ba- so, basically, so basically, your balls will be hanging down low while you're gaming, basically. That's what will be happening. <laughs> You balls yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess that's the big question, right? Like, what's the future hold for gaming? I mean, really, like, 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 like uh, I would say the biggest leap uh, in this generation was us going from uh, from standard TVs to HD. You know, yeah. we went from from standard TVs with the PS2, Xbox to uh, to 1080p high definition 3D. That's no, it's, H- no, it's you know? 3D HD and all that. Yeah, sort of stuff. yeah, it's, it's like it's like what's next? What's next after that? What the hell's after 3D? <laughs> TVs where you can actually play split screen and it doesn't actually put it in split screen. It's both on the same monitor at the same time. Well, that no, that, that's right now. They have. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's. Yeah, what, no, but you got, the, you got the you got the new TVs now where you can um, it's basically like it's just a normal TV. It's a HD TV, and what they've done is you know how you get a split screen, like you can it just cuts the screen in half, doesn't it? Well, with the new 3D ones, what they've done is you wear the glasses, and both the two different images are coming up on each player's glasses, 
So player one sees his image on the TV and player two sees his image, but it's not split screen. It's all on the same TV. That's, that's pretty cool. Well, there's something I'd so, like to uh, say back to your question, Lee. You're saying what's the next big thing? Now, I'm a proud owner of the new Wii U, and I can say that the tablet, the gamepad, I keep calling it a fucking tablet. It's called the gamepad. It's <laughs> called a gamepad. Um, it's a tablet. Playing Zombie U. It's a big-ass control. Right. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost, it's almost, it's almost as big as mine. Um, yeah, so um, like 3D TVs, like I've said, I, I think I've already said this in my video, so I'm going to do it fast so I'm not repeating myself. 3D TVs, they're trying to make sure by um, making a graphics 3D. Well, I think the true next generation leap is is going to be immersion. It's not going to be power powerhouse graphics. The graphics will get nicer, obviously, with new tech, but, but personally, I think it's going to be immersion. And seriously... Playing the Wii, uh, playing Zombie U on the Wii U with the tablet, it brought me into a, it brought me into a different dimension, man. It brought, no, no, seriously, like it made me. Played the Outer Limits theme tune. It made me feel more connected, like to this game world, like as if, like the person was talking to me as I'm to check my gamepad. I was, I think I wasn't just looking at the screen. I was having to do stuff outside of the screen, which made the game feel like it was in my living room and. And it did it subtly as well. Like, it didn't do this connect fucking a gimmicky shit. Like, this actually felt really good. It felt like um, it felt like I was just truly immersed. And I think that's what, they, that's what the PlayStation and Xbox need to capitalize on. They need to take a leaf out of Nintendo's book can just see that a certain controller can pull you, pull you into the game so much further, further than shiny graphics. That's it. <laughs> Elgin, hmm. quiet. That's interesting. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know about it. I mean, like you know, you 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 say that, but I I don't know if I could personally get into it. I I really I really don't know. Why? <laughs> I'll still stick to the old good old mouse and keyboard, to be honest with you. Oh, I'm, I'm not much of a. Okay, here we go. I'm not much of a con. I'm not much of a console gamer. <laughs> just the so guy who really play know. a third person shoot of a mouse and keyboard. Do not listen to. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Guys, do not listen to Nemesis. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's living in 1997 still. With his mouse. Oh, 1997, my ass. I'm still <laughs> a mouse and keyboard thing. I don't know. I mean, if. They, I don't know. I guess if they sort of something come up with something truly unique, I guess like I don't know. This whole sort of like tablet <laughs> stuff, it's just like to me, it's like too overrated. It's like yeah, but you can't try, play, it, I, try I mean, it, try it, and then say it's overrated. Yeah, I mean, you can Box say it. I'm still old fashioned, but if I play a game, I'd still <laughs> rather have a controller in my hand. Like if I play a yeah, console, I'd still rather have a gamepad is a controller. That's what I mean. It it feels like a controller still. It's yeah, still... but to me, it feels like I'm holding a tablet. It's like I, I don't know. It's I mean, it, obviously, I've got to try, I've got to try it, you know. Yeah, I haven't it. tried it, so I, I, it. you know. But it feels. So I mean, good. I remember like the, I remember like the big thing back in the day was when the freaking Dreamcast had the little uh, LCD screen with a memory card, you know. Like then it was sort of like it, it had never been done before, and now everyone is fucking doing it. But yet at that time, the Dreamcast was ahead of the game because it had sort of like it, no one had done that now. <laughs> See the thing with me and the Wii U is just that that controller is so so big and it's like it's almost like the size of a you know GameCube or it's like yeah, can you, you know bigger rage than and fight it against the freaking it feels wall comfortable though just to... just just believe me when I say it does feel comfortable like I'm not just lying like if it didn't feel comfortable I'd say like the gamepad it 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 don't feel very comfortable but but it still amazes you but I can honestly say that it does feel comfortable as well. I mean I could see the advantages of it like with games like Zombie U or if they bought like a new Resident Evil and they say like. You've got to get items out of your inventory, and you know I've seen like. Well, it's not just that; it's the person talking to you as well. Like it comes through like a walkie-talkie, and he can sometimes just say something out of the blue, and it's like, oh, he's talking to me. The one thing that really used to annoy me with the Wii, like when you're playing, like say, New Super Mario Bros. Wii or something, it had the little, it's got the speaker on the controller. Yeah. You know, and it's going on the TV, and all you just hear is Mario go, "It's me!" It's like, what the fuck? Like, where did that come from? When it came out, you know, it's like. Stuff like that really, really annoying me. Now, if they sort of like improvised it more, where they like the Wii had more serious games, and like you, I don't know, say like you was playing a, a, a shoot 'em up or a shump or something like that, and you had someone actually talking to you and giving you mission briefing, like you could actually hear it coming out the the 
the Wiimote or something, you know, like yeah. something sort of like. Well, guys, can I ask you a can I ask you a serious question? Do you think Microsoft Microsoft has beat Nintendo at its own game with this Kinect? Do you think they've beat like a Nintendo? Do you think that this whole motion control thing, like if people are still going to be liking it and dancing to just answer that, do you think Microsoft's got the best thing by not having to wear or hold anything, just just to stand, just your body in front of a camera? They 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 they, they do if if they get all the kinks out and it works a hundred percent. Yeah, I, mean, I think if they. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like even even now, like they said, they've gotten a lot of more kinks out. I haven't tried it myself, but from what I've seen, uh, it's still not a hundred percent accurate. Like it's no. not, it's not, it's not a hundred percent super fast accurate. If they can get it like perfect or near perfect like that, that would be the best technology. Like there would be no more need for the Wii's, you know, Wii motes and nunchuck and stuff. So the rumors are like, like that they connect now. It uses one camera, but but the rumors are that a Connect 2.0 will be uh, launched with the next Xbox 720 built in somehow, but that Connect is going to have two cameras, so it'll be able to pick up mm. twice as many uh, body movements and joints, and it's going to be clear. It's going to have a better camera, so it can pick stuff up easier, and it's going to need less room and all that stuff. And I think that uh, that sounds better than PlayStation Move tying balls to your feet and stupid shit like that. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't like. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, because I'm sort of a PlayStation guy, I wouldn't. Do you know what I mean? If it came to it and it did actually improvise that, I would not want. Do you know what I mean? That would probably put me off from getting one like yes, yeah, freaking ties and. But but that's uh but that that that, that that's for um people who like to play with games like that that are like motion like you know what about what about the hardcore gamers that just like to to yeah. actually have a controller and play? Jesus Christ! Yeah. I struggle with heavy rain with a quick time event. Do you know what I mean? It's like how the hell am I gonna? <laughs> so so what do you do if uh, Metal Gear's... Metal Gear Solid 6 came out and you had to wear the balls and you had to run around your front room. Probably start crying and won't vibe next Snake! Snake! Fuck's sake, man! <laughs> Met- Metal Gear Solid 5, only only usable with the Kinect or something. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got to do all the actions We have fucking... <laughs> Oh man. Metal Gear Solid get... 4 was bad enough. Walk one second, there's a hour long cut scene. Yeah, on this one, tie a ball to your <laughs> feet, it drops off, you can't play the fucking thing. <laughs> to, to sneak around, you actually have to be very, very quiet. Yeah, Nemesis is like <laughs> crouching all slow and no, shit. And then his mom walks in the door. Mom, what the fuck are you doing? You <laughs> she just alerted the girl. So yeah, he shouts up, Mark, if tea time! For oh, fuck's sake! If they, to, if they really want to immerse you, they should give you like a li- little question. <laughs> Oh, they should give you like a little gun. I want no tea tonight. Can you see I was in fucking Russia trying to disarm him for fuck's sake? <laughs> Fuck the tea. The world's about to. No, you, the world's on really fire. To... Game over, man. Game over. If they really want you to immerse you, what they should do is like they should give you like a like an actual sort of like gun. You know that what they did with the G-Con 45, the light gun for the PS1. <laughs> they should give you like one of them, right? And, like, where this is some more motion censored, you should, like, obviously have sort of, like, the sense bar or whatever. And it's like, you must go prone, but you actually have to get prone on the carpet. Like, what are you saying? And you sort of, like, have to... You have to get prone. Get, 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 get the reactions. It's like... You have to get prone on the carpet. Uh, put, put the carpet box on and you have to, connect. like... <laughs> 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 relate to guards to, to, high level. To, 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 to roll, you actually have to roll on your carpet. Yeah. Because I think they was actually talking about doing something like that at one point, wasn't they? For like some, um, that wouldn't work. Fucking to, to pull out your gun, you have to pull out this like plastic, you know. Yeah, there was something. something you... I remember some. There were some rumors ages ago where they were saying about this motion sensor stuff, and they was actually someone actually wanted to do that because like they <laughs> said it would be like. But the, the, the thing like, is, Metal Gear Solid fan. <laughs> Like, sorry, no people in wheelchairs can play this game. What the fuck? What the fuck? They're rolling around on the floor trying to play it, getting stuck you know, on the floor it, and it, shit. You know, <laughs> I'll show those motherfuckers. It could be worse. We could have the Virtual Boy 2 come out, all right? So. Virtual Boy 2, it did, right? 3DS. <laughs> Legs or not, I'm going to cap a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this, I'm going to be part of the fucking, what they're called in uh, Metal Gear Solid, what's the group, Foxhound, fuck this, I'm going to be Foxhound motherfuckers, I don't need legs or arms, I'm just going to be a torso. To hide, put, no, to hide, put a box over your head and you go in the kitchen and you actually grab a box and you just have to shove it over your head or something. Um, so, so basically I'm going to ask uh, 
So, so I'm going to ask each of you now, like one question. What do you want from Next Generation, Lee? What do you want? Like, 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 what would you make? What would make you very, very, very happy to see coming Next Generation? What's your dream for Next Gen consoles? Um, I'm putting you on a spot. I don't know. I, yeah, because there's so many different variations of that. I mean, do you mean like, uh, like, like just better graphics? Do you mean bigger hard drive space? I mean, there's a there's a million things you could say you memory want. Memory cards. But... Yeah, but dude, it's up to you. It's memory up to you. Like, what, what, what? What interests you? Do you want better graphics, or do you want to be immersed more? Do you want different types of game? So, what do you want from next gen? Like I'm saying, what's your dream? It can be anything. It can be bigger hard drives if that's what you really want. You just tell me what. Like, say if they announced the PlayStation 4, what would you want it to have? Um, free DLC. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> that probably would never happen, but you know, something where like you actually feel like you actually own something because I'm afraid that when the next uh, systems come out, it'll either be um, uh, I'm really afraid of that. The, 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 the next systems that'll come out, it'll be your disc is just your install disc, yeah. and your game is actually on your hard drive at all times, or your game is tied to your account. Yeah, you know? yeah, I think and, and that, 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 that that's what I want is I want I want stability. I want um you know no no online codes you know really i want i want to be able to still play my game on a disc you know if non-region yeah, game of you, non-region like, region lots yeah re- region free region free games as well yeah but if you steam doesn't bother you though and that's codes and being a, uh steam doesn't my... bother me be- yeah steam doesn't bother me because i can get them for so cheap you know you can get a game for like four dollars you know but, but the games will never on consoles what if it is cheaper what if they can Get it. Well, and, well, that, well, that, that's a whole other topic in itself because I really do trust Steam more than I would trust the PS. Well, there's a Steam box coming out. We haven't even spoke about that for fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah, but listen, like, like, think about it. Like, I've always said this forever. Um, you know, look at how fast that they shut down the Xbox uh, service for the original Xbox. Yeah. You know, it was only so long before they. Did, and how uh, how long do you think they're going to support the 360 before they do the same thing? I feel yeah. like Steam they will support as long as humanly possible because. We all always need a PC. You know what I mean? We yeah. all always need a PC. So, oh, so what I you're saying is you can buy tons of games on the Xbox 720, and then when the Xbox fucking 14 comes out, then yeah, basically they'll, they'll, we'll lose they'll, all our they'll, games. They'll back discontinue now. it because, because they're having to use all their resources to support the new system, and they're not going to keep supporting you the know, older system. You know? I've just yeah, figured yeah, of the major number one, number one thing so, that I want. What? When you when the companies bring a game out, make sure the game is actually fucking complete when you bring it out. Don't bring out incomplete games. Yeah, but well, <laughs> software. Warfighter. We're talking about <laughs> we're talking about a console. What's your dream of like next gen console? Like, what do you want to see? Do you want to see? Yeah, basically have complete games. No, 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 no. Because... And we're talking about hardware. Okay, 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 okay. If we're talking about hardware, I just want the games to uh, to look like real life. But that that's probably a couple generations, you know. Yeah. You know, ahead of time, because because like like uh like you know graphics aren't everything, but but when it comes to certain games like um football, like you know yeah. like the Madden games or you know WWE games, things like that, you know it's imitating real life, it's imitating sports, you know yeah. or something. So you want it to look as real as possible. Yeah. And and I can just imagine a Madden game because like for instance, Madden 13 looks amazing. It looks like you're actually watching it on TV. But can you imagine like next generation or the generation afterward? It looks like you're really watching TV. Like you. Yeah can't tell the difference like it's extremely hard to tell the difference like like you can tell that it's there, there's something off you know like the people don't look human there's something about it but they almost look like you know yeah. human beings you know yeah things that would work uh, well in driving games as well for the cars to look perfect like just real with like smoke coming out of the exhaust and and seeing bits of dirt get kicked off by the tires or or like yeah. Oh cool. yeah, and and then, and then if you had one of those super large widescreen revolving TVs that went around you, and you had a, a rig with a, a seat and a driving wheel, and like you know, like if you had something like that, you'd probably feel like you really went somewhere. Yeah, you, know, you weren't. Yeah. yeah. So Nemesis, what's your dream hardware? <clears throat> Besides your knob. I mean, again, I'm not really. More vibration in the control. It's, it's the same old argument. Where I, I don't know where I haven't been too much of a console gamer. I'm not necessarily. I don't know. Yeah, but, but the thing is, Steam's going to release a console. So, 
So that's going to make you a console game anyway. So just we're talking about consoles. Uh, Gone. It's really I don't know. It's probably, really really hard. I mean, probably for him, I think he would probably just like it if everything was uh, uh, compatible with a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every first person shooter was comp- compatible. I mean. Uh, Driving simulators. Yeah, Can you use a mouse and really keyboard? Really I'm really sold, motherfucker. <laughs> I I really don't know. I think it's too, for me it's a tough one because again, for me, not really having this much experience. Even though I've got the console, I was not having this much experience. The one, the one, I don't know. Technology wise, we'll talk about a PC the, then because uh, because a Steam are releasing a console. What do you want to see? In next gen PC. The one thing that console. I w- the one thing that I would like for the consoles is for it, all the internet service to be free that you don't have to pay for it because it really and you know, the one thing that really annoys me is stuff like for Xbox 360. Obviously, you have to pay a subscription even though you're already paying out your internet. Yeah, but that's just life like, though. You pay for Xbox Live, you pay for a service, you, you pay for Netflix. Like nothing comes free if it's a good service, and Xbox Live is a damn good service. It's one of these things where, to be honest. I, I hate to say it, but I'm really not excited for this, the next generation. I'm not really. I, uh, I guess this is sort of like most people are really excited for it. I'm really actually not because of what they've done with this generation. I know it's kind of like getting the wrong side of things, but of the disappointment of this generation console gaming for me, it's not been that high on my priority. That's why I've gone more to PC gaming because. The, con- the consoles, I mean, I don't know. I've just. It's so strange. Just, We've got such I mean, contrasted opinions. I believe the, that these consoles have I been the best. Just, I just wish they would sort a lot of the kinks out that the hardware doesn't. I mean, I've gone through <clears> four <throat> Xbox 360s this generation. The thing is, that's them, not on, really, is it? No. That's something they need to sort out. And that's one of the uh, things I was reading a massive long page. And Xbox and PlayStation are both uh, con- like processors that they're going to be using is a power saver processor by amd which basically yeah. means that the heat levels don't go that high so because these 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 red ring of deaths and yellow light of deaths won't well because they've got less chance of happening because that because the hardware isn't getting as hot it's just it's mm. power saving hardware it, it's i think out. that's what's kind of thrown me off for this generation because where i've gone through four xbox 360s i'm like just sort of like wasting money, if you know what I mean. I'm like 250. It's going to cost. It's like it would cost 150 pounds to get an Xbox 360 repaired. That's how much a new Xbox 360 costs. You might as well just go out and buy one. So, and it's like at the end of the day, they they. I just feel that those sort of companies are still robbing money off you because they could fix the problem. They they, but they sort of. I don't know. It, it, to me, I've never actually had a red ring of death, even though I've had gone through four consoles. The main problem I've had is with the DVD drives crapping out on me. Okay. So I just say I just say more reliable hardware and make sure that it's tested and test it for the okay. long period of time before they actually bring out the systems. Good point. So and I've got. If they impress, don't impress me with that, then I will be buying them right now. I won't. I'm, I'm not really overly impressed to be buying them. To be honest. That, that's that's the reason why I never bought a 360 in the beginning was because of the. Red Ring of Death. The thing so is, I I've, I've, I've never had any problems with the, the new model of the 360 touch wood. I've never had any problems with it. And I, I, I'm I sort of drawing myself more towards it now because I know that I've not really had any more problems. But yeah, I'm afraid if I keep on playing it, the thing's going to crap out of me. So it's like, yeah, I'm really sort of like limiting myself of what games I actually choose to play on there, oh. which is really bad, I know, because it's just I've had so many die on me. So Right, guys. Guys, I want to start wrapping it up now. Since it's the first ever, um, first ever episode, I want to just keep it short and sweet so people just get an oh, idea of what it is. <laughs> short and sweet like your mom. Short, <laughs> short and sweet like Mrs. Bell. But it's good things I want to... Hey, it's not that short. <laughs> I just want to end it, it on be, one question. Sweet, Shut the fuck up and listen to the question. <laughs> Damn, man. Get get dead to testicles. Than... You listen to me. <laughs> so... Nintendo Wii won this gen console war. Like, if you look at sales, people. If you look at statistics, yeah. People will argue, people say the Xbox 360 has been more popular, the PlayStation 3 has sold more in Europe, blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, on the general thing, everyone knows that to Nintendo Wii has probably been the most successful. So let's just say Nintendo Wii won this 
this Nintendo this... Nintendo Wii won, yeah, because of the sales. You yeah. can definitely say that. Yeah. But what would you got what would your guys' vote be? Uh, really? three sixty. I think three sixty's completely changed its online game and I think it's 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 made it completely different. I think the three sixty has won the social side. PlayStation three is like the best exclusive. So Nintendo Wii I, I, I just don't think it's done that much if I'm honest this gen. Uh, for me, as a like a hardcore gamer, I class myself as a hardcore gamer. Saying that to inverted commas, I don't think it's done that much. The 360, I think, done the most. Like, like I said, online PlayStation 3 is the best exclusives. What about you guys? For me, for what I've actually experienced, I would definitely have to say the 360. Even though I've had four die on me, I would definitely say like the 360 generally has the better games because. I mean, like, one of my favourite trilogies on there is obviously Gears of War, you know, so, and I've had no problems, like, with region locking, like, what PSN has had, I could play... And multi-platform games are better as well, aren't they, all over, the Yeah, I could play, I could play from people all over the world, games, some of my favourite games, like, Born Conspiracy have worked much better on the, P- on the on the 360 than they have on the PS3, trust me, I know about that one. It, it, I think overall for me, the PS3 is good for the exclusives. Like yeah, it is. It's brilliant. Uh, for Metal, Ge- Metal Gear Solid, the Silent Hill games, you know that sort of stuff. Talk, talking about the Uncharted, God of War, Last of Us, God of War, God of War, yeah. Uncharted, yeah, all of that stuff. Heavy Rain, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know all of those exclusives that it's good for. And then there's there's the 360, which has has its exclusives like Halo, Gears, Forza, you know, Forza. That, you know other games as well but it has that overall better feel to it because like if you if like the online gaming is obviously better as well because i know i keep saying you you are paying for it but you do get what you pay for like you know because you can like, service is fantastic region, like, yeah service is fantastic apart from when you try and ca- apart from when you try and cancel an account with them yeah um they try and do everything because that's changed say, now though. Like, that's a simple button press away they they uh they address that issue it. Yeah, it, it's and the the Wii, the Wii's got some really underrated games on it. Like, I mean, the Wii is a good system, but the Wii's more of like a family system, if you know what I mean. So it's more of a casual system. So if you're not really a hardcore gamer, I don't think you're gonna sort of. Mm. It depends on what you want out of the Wii. Like, I mean, there are the hardcore games on it, like the some of the RPGs and, but not. I don't know. It's really hard to say because there are the games that I've got on the Wii I do enjoy, but I don't really play them that much. And what's your opinion, Lee? What's your opinion? We need to start wrapping it up. Hands down, say the PS3. Absolutely. Now the 360 is a great system. Uh, We all know, you know, the 360 has the social aspect. What's so so funny? Hey, it's the truth. (laughs) The 360 has the social aspect, but. But, goddamn it, the PS3 is the system. The reason why is because I use it for many, many, many things, and I use it for many, many hours. Let's see here. No, motherfucker, not the point. Let's see here. Uh, and I'm not even trying to be a fanboy. I just really like the PS3. Okay, like I said, the 360, let's, let's talk about 360 real quick. So 360, 360 has when Netflix. It came out... No, 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 no. Don't <laughs> yeah, get into that yet. No, 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 no. We're talking about when the 360 first launched with the other systems. Okay, the 360 was right out the gate, but the 360 had the red ring of death, and the 360 charged for their online service. And that was the, the two main reasons why I tried to avoid the 360. Now, when they first came out, they had all the good exclusives. They had Dead Rising, Saints Row the Original, uh, Gears, Halo, you know, all that shit. That's what made you want to get a 360. Uh, you know, the Wii was all right. You had the Mario exclusives, but it still wasn't an HD system. It was like for kids still. It was kind of like, you know, for the, you know, for the family, you know. Uh, the PS3 was just in the background like... This thing is way too expensive. Remember when the PS3 came out and it was like $500? Yeah. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. That was fucking nuts. Like, nobody was going to buy that. That The I PS3. Did. The PS3. No, I did too. <laughs> the P- <laughs> well, I didn't, goddamn. I waited. But I'm just saying. Well, it's a like a true the P- Sony fan. There you go. Look, you see. Goddamn, I'm trying to make a point. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but what I'm saying is that uh, I think that when when the when the the, the this gen consoles all launched, they all launched with flaws, and I didn't like any of them at the beginning. And uh, luckily, I waited, and I feel at the very end of it, the PS3 won, in my opinion, for my system because I use it for many things. Like I said, Netflix, uh, I use it for I use it for um, 
uh, my Blu-rays, my 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 DVDs, and Blu-rays. Obviously, you can only run on a yeah. PS3 unless that was, that was had, the one good thing. Yeah, yeah, you had you had the the Blu-ray player embedded in the system, and I believe, am I right, Luke? You cannot use Netflix on the 360 if you don't have a gold membership. That's true. Right? Yep. That's true. So you have to pay two payments to make sure you can watch Netflix, which is kind of fucked up. And that's another reason why I like it. And and you know, the, the 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 there's many other reasons. You know, like I said, uh, you know, I can I, I can watch Netflix and I and I and I have much more space on a disc. You know, 25 gigs to the eight gigs that's on a on a 360 game. I mean, the list goes on. I mean, you know. Okay, so, so let's yeah, talk yeah. about let's let's talk about next. Oh, and, gen. and the main the main point is that I can play my games online for free. That's the main point. Yeah, service. So, apart got from half from a region lot. He gets hacked and he gets battered. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. but but let's talk about next generation. There's going to be four consoles. The region free games, by the way. Region free games on the PS. Four consoles. Nintendo Wii U. PlayStation 4, the Xbox 720, and a Steam box. Quickly, quickly tell me, tell me who's going to win and why. Microsoft. Oh, I probably, yeah. But. I, oh, I really don't know. If I have to say one, I would probably say Nintendo because they usually always come up on sales with the, the chip, like the chip, the, kid aspect of it because it's more set for the young audiences and it's more affordable so i'm gonna say the nintendo i'm still gonna say nintendo just by looking at the sales of what the, the wii u has done or the wii has done i should say so for you know for this generation it's still number one despite yeah but think about last gen ps2 ps2 was absolutely amazing last gen like battered nintendo 10 to yeah, 1 because that was that yeah because the ps2 was a great system uh, well, wait, know, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, no. I, I need, I need to, re- I need you to revise this for a second. Are you saying when you say the four, you're saying the new, the new uh, Xbox, the new PS4, and uh, the Wii U and the Steam Box, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the next gen. Okay, okay, because yeah, you could say the Wii U is in the next gen category, right? Yep. Okay, because I feel that the Wii U was released way too early. I feel that that's going to hurt Nintendo uh, because of the advances that Sony and Microsoft still have time for to do. And uh, and I feel that in the end, Microsoft's going to win. Because Sony, uh, the thing about Sony is that I love them and I hate them because I can't trust them. You know, it's like I love them, but I can't trust them because Sony was the was the one to pull off this whole online pass shit. And the main thing that people are talking about now is that patent that they just passed yeah. or that they're trying to get passed. Did you hear about it? A pre-owned games? About the – huh? About the games, the pre-owned games, they're trying to stop that? Is that when you're Yeah, trying to stop the pre-owned games so then that way when you put in your game disc, it registers your disc directly <laughs> to the console. And if that happens, there's no way in hell I'm buying that console. There's no way. And uh, and I can't see the Wii U being any successful. And the Steam box would be nice, but I, I do prefer my PC. I'm okay with my PC. So it would be Microsoft. I feel that the next gen might go to Microsoft. Okay. Seriously. The thing is, you're forgetting one console. The Dreamcast 2. <laughs> Dreamcast 2. <laughs> yeah, right. Jesus, that'll come up and that'll just go bankrupt. It'll bring out Shenmue 3. No one will buy it. It'll cost $100 billion to make. <laughs> and they'll go straight back under for another 20 years. <laughs> No, um, I'd say I don't think Sony's going to win next gen just because of what they've shown. They've shown fucking balls being attached well, to feet. That is just that is just I ridiculous. Just but the controller I, I just, sounds I, interesting. Reading your heart rate and stuff that like things. Imagine if they made a game right, and they could and, and it made you go into cardiac arrest. <laughs> no, basically. <laughs> Basically, and they knew, and knew and they rage quitting. Listen, and, and, they, okay, listen. and they knew, and they knew you were getting scared. So then your heart's beating and beating and beating. And they pump it up even more. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's exactly what I was gonna say. If you're playing a horror game, like, Sony can see that your heart rate's going up, so they'll go, okay, let's chuck another scare in it. That's dangerous, man. Think about if you gave the the damn controller, or the 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 connect, or whatever the fuck, uh, the camera to your grandpa or something, whatever, and he's trying to play the game, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then it's like it's going dun, 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 and they're like, yeah, let's throw another thing in it, and then it's like, oh Jesus, and then it's like, come on, <laughs> can, you, can you imagine that? Like, can you imagine like alien, like an alien versus predator game or something? Can you got like the heat sensor and you got the fucking gun? So, and it's I can, like, I can see the headline. Like, 
I can see the headline now. Sony blamed for 78 senior citizen deaths <laughs> at the PS4 launch. So I'm going to be a bit controversial now. The person I think is going to win. Well, the, the two people I'm drawing. But the person who I think is going to come on top is Steambox. Now, they've been dilly-dallying around with different types of controllers, different types of headsets where you put them on and you see lots of stuff. They're really putting a lot of money in, like not just the Steam box, but stuff to immerse you in the game. But the good thing about the Steam box is, like, I think it's with a 360, it's got 512 gigabytes of RAM, and it's had that for three years now, and it's been outdated since it first came out. Steam box, you'll be able to change it. So say if the RAM starts getting a bit out of date, you just whack it up a bit. You take that RAM out and put some yeah. more RAM in. That console will live <clears> forever. <throat> and that's what people need. They don't want to have to pay £600 for a new console. They want to be able to pay 50 quid just to update the RAM so the graphics will be better. So I think the Steam box, Microsoft, Sony, I, Nintendo are better watch out. I, I don't think so because uh, as nice as that sounds and everything, I mean, it is nice to have a computerized uh, you know, console uh, on your TV, you know, and that's exactly what it'd be. It could be a computer for your TV. But uh, the problem with that is that their games are being sold through Steam, which they already sell uh, to massive amount of people on the PC. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't see that taking off so well. It's more for, it's more so for the hardcore gamer that sits at home already and plays the Steam games and wants uh, a new. You yeah, know, but that's what a I new, found. A new out of our games on the Steam box only. Now that would sell the console. That would sell the console if they said Half Life Three is coming out. People would be queuing outside. Fucking Microsoft would shit their knickers. Uh, shit would go uh, everywhere. Sony would be shitting himself. If Valve Half-Life said, Life we're bringing out Half-Life 3. But Valve that is, is only the system one of the... seller. That is the that system is, seller it, of all systems. That system is seller. coming out. Yeah, that I is know. Actually cut. Yeah, but, but that if would... Valve turned around and said, this is going to be a Steam exclusive... A Steam Box exclusive. It will be a. St- but see, the thing is, is that they, they more than likely would do that. They would more than likely already make Half Life Three exclusive to Steam for all the PC users or the Steam console users. It doesn't matter. What I'm saying is that you're not going to find a bunch of Steam games retail in your stores, and because of that, you're not going to find a massive amount of people going and because, finding these things. Yeah, it's because like, the thing is with Steam, a lot of those the games are not. They're not PC exclusives. They're released ev- on any system so yeah. if someone's got a ps4 and then the game comes out on steam they're gonna be able to probably buy the ps4 version because they would rather have a physical copy and yeah they'd rather have a physical copy and they, and they might have just been in the store buying something else for their wife or something and then they happen to see that game and they're like oh shit yeah i want to buy that you know what i mean because like, like right now for me at the moment it's easy just to buy it i've got nowhere low i live in a little freaking village in the middle you, you, you got no game shops for like Nemesis is the only game in the village. It's a game, not a game. But yeah, I, you know, it's, there's no game shops around to actually go anywhere and buy anything. So for me, it's easy to go onto Steam and get it di- downloaded direct to your hard drive. I would rather... Again, this is one of the reasons I haven't bought out a lot of games for the, the consoles, because it's just so much easier for me to directly download to hard drive. And when these new-gen systems will be coming out... I probably won't be getting one. I'll probably just be getting a whole new upgrade for my PC because I do that every couple of years so I can keep up with. And to me, PC gaming will still always be superior. Always. Unless Valve, unless Valve comes out with some new strategy, that's not going to win. The, uh, the the Steam Box will be more so uh, in the same category as the Neo Geo X. You guys know about that, right? Mm. Mm. Okay, what, what 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 is that system appealing to? The hardcore gamer that loves Neo Geo games. Now, sure, they're going to come out with uh, these SD card looking games eventually, a bunch of them that'll be in your store shelves to buy. But really, that that audience is for the core Neo Geo fans. That's not for you know everybody to really you know yeah. jump on. You know, and that's what the, that's what the Steam console box is going to be like. Something that they'll advertise. It'll be in GameStop and it'll be there. But uh, you know, it won't be it won't be a big as big a deal because you won't see a shitload of uh, pre-owned games for the Steam box sitting there at GameStop or you know, or just brand new ones in, in Walmart or you know, it's not it won't be like that. It'll be for the hardcore PC gamers that want a console experience or people who want to get and into PC gaming and wait, use wait. it that way. I, so. Okay, so on that note, so on that note, I think we need to end because it's forty-five now. We've gone fifteen minutes over. <laughs> so thank you very much for your input, guys. Yeah, yep, I, I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs>
Nemesis, I can't... will you just uh, 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 took your mum in for me and I tell her I'll be there shortly? Right. PS3 is the best system right now. Yeah. <laughs> Steambox. Mouse and keyboard Steambox all the way, will baby. win. Bye.